going on here is that part of the body is anatomically male and other parts are anatomically female. This phenomenon is called gynandromorphism, and that comes from three Greek roots. We've got gyno, meaning woman, as in gynecology. We've got andro, meaning man, as in android. And you've got morph, meaning form. And so gynandromorphism is having a shape containing both masculine and feminine traits. This is possible in insects because sexual characteristics are determined on a cell-by-cell -cell basis, meaning that some tissues can be masculine while others are feminine under the right conditions. And it's not possible in humans or other mammals because for us, most of our sexual characteristics are determined by the hormones that flow through our blood. One nice thing about hormonal sex differentiation is that you can overhaul the whole system if you want to change it. Happy Trans Day of Visibility from your local trans bug scientist. Now, gynandromorphs are not trans, but I wanted to highlight some of the incredible variation in sexual characteristics that nature can produce. Be well, everyone.